This is Ben. And this is how he did in his last rolling video. And this is me in some moves that I'm known for. Also, that's Angel, but he's only known for tapping. Boom, we're back and we have Ben Nogi as he goes against me, Tyler, the black belt on the left. Let's see how I can do going up against the bath salts king. The first thing probably caught your eye is that I look extremely wow. trendy in my rash guard slash spats combo. If you wanna get this same outfit, make sure to check out my link in the description below. Now, if you struggle with wrestling, especially if they're on opiates or some other substances make sure to use the russian tie i used the russian tie and then ben for some reason grabbed my head to earn himself his first quack as i was easily able to take him down my left leg right now is becoming a reverse hook and it's really good because you can elevate your opponent even though ben is clearly the more in shape athlete i can control him with this reverse hook and i'm trying to work on his back but i'm quickly in danger here because i know that when i have ben's back this is actually his powerful position it's only a matter of time before ben is able to grab my head and submit me with any headlock that he want so i have to make sure to have a good spot on him if i waste too much time on ben's back surely he's going to submit me i put myself in danger here because i decide to go for his back but we all know what that means ben is going to find a way out he pushes my leg and he grabs my head and he puts me in a headlock i'm just about to get tapped out here and i'm really in danger you can tell by the smile on my face i know i'm about to get tapped out ben has also grabbed his own leg so he's really trying to secure this position on me i know that it's only a matter of time before i'm going to go unconscious or whatever he likes to do from this spot so i have to leave this position and give him the headlock so I can take his back once again. If you're trying to get better at jujitsu, you should probably look at that I did not put my hooks in immediately. Even now, I don't have my hooks in. You don't need hooks right away. You just need to have better control over their neck. But look at that. I didn't have my hooks in and Ben was able to spin out. So clearly I made a mistake on my own part. Ben takes advantage of his cat-like positioning and goes for a shot. However, I use the front head and guillotine to sweep him over. I don't decide to go for a guillotine on Ben because I know that submissions don't really work on this guy. I also know that if I I stay in a dominant position that just means ben is getting stronger however i decide to parlay this side control victory and i'm gonna go immediately into mount which is probably my big flaw by putting ben in the mount this means he's about ready to set up his final escape once i have his back we all know what ben likes to do from here he likes to flail around and i wouldn't be surprised if he did the dolphin escape that we saw from before if Ben were able to do that dolphin escape to me, I'd have to give up my black belt. Now, as Ben tries to stand up, I quickly put in my right arm over the neck. I'm not trying to get the choke per se, but it's a great way to bring your opponent back down to the mat if they don't have good hand positioning. I use an over under arm control on his left shoulder to pull him around. But as I pull him around, Ben is trying to explode out of this position, so I have to make sure to stay behind him the entire time. This is when Ben gets tough. I have to make sure to stay behind his elbows because if he were on my back, he would definitely sit Submit me instantaneously. Now he rose to his back and he's trying to get out of this position, but I get him in mount. As he goes to the turtle, I take my hook out because I'm deciding to wrestle with him. This is how you can beat somebody on bath salts. You have to wrestle them down into the ground so they can't explode out of there. And I want Ben to waste some of his excess energy. The only problem is that Ben has an unlimited supply of energy. I quickly go for the choke on the neck and I lock up a figure four. The figure four is going to allow me to try and tame this monster as I ride his back. Back. The only issue is that he's going to start rolling around frantically because he can feel that I'm starting to set up a rear naked choke. This may surprise you guys, but Ben is actually hand fighting here and he's not letting me grab my hands together. I do get my hands free because I have a lot more experience than he does and now I have the full locked in rear naked choke. And now we have the big question. Is Ben able to get submitted by a rear naked choke? He starts rolling towards the left and then he's going to start rolling towards the right and then something strange happens. Ben actually went limp to the choke. Or did he? Yes, Ben actually did go out, but I don't feel good about it. Thankfully, I know exactly when to let go, so he didn't have to take a full nap because I have plenty of experience with this, but I do not condone it. And on that note, it's time for question of the day. My question today is, have you ever gone unconscious in jujitsu? I've gotten out about five times, and the last time was when Brock was showing a move to the class, and I was his partner, and he didn't know I tapped. Now, we're starting the roll again, and Ben is going for a quick shot. It's a really ugly shot, and I'm able to take his back immediately, but I am glad that he's still staying active. I have this underhook, and this allows me to pull him over so I can control his back. 
Ben does a nice job though, and he spins out of this, and I have to go towards the Kimura position. I swing my leg over his shoulder, and I'm trying to control his posture. Now, he does a good job again by turning out of this. He rips his arm free, so he doesn't have to worry about any submission, and then he's gonna pass right away. Now, as he passes, this really doesn't bother me at all. I'm just gonna work up, and as soon as I work up, there are two truths in life you must always remember. One, bath salts and bent are the same thing, and two, if you have a head, I will grab it. I grab the head, and I immediately push him over into side control. He was worried about the guillotine so it's very easy to get to this position also you have to remember ben is feeling a little bit tired after he went out if you've never gone unconscious before it makes you feel tired for the rest of the day it's an interesting feeling but i don't necessarily recommend it not good for the brain blah 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 now once ben is here i'm deciding to wrestle him and i pull him back down to the mat it's an easy way to control an opponent if you can stay under their armpits and use the claw like motion or control their wrists if you can control the wrists you can drive them forward even if they have an unlimited gas tank like Ben. From this spot, Ben is actually trying to attack my arm. I don't care about that at all, and instead I go in front of him to style on him a little bit. I'm also trying to get Ben amped up a little bit because I can tell that his cardio is gone after going out. He tries to roll to his side, but I decide just to go back to the wrestling right position and he's going for the stand up. It's dangerous to stand up without hand positioning and here's why. Ah! Luckily for Ben's neck, I don't wrestle that way. Instead, I prefer to drag them down. But since I go for the drag, Ben goes for the headlock, of course, as a Hail Mary attempt to get me off of him. I prefer to beat people up with pressure, similar to Brock, except for I'm twice as large and twice as skillful. Now from here, Ben again is trying to attack me. I free my arm with ease, and he's trying to grab my arm just to hang on because he wants to end this round safely. He doesn't want to get tapped out again, and I can understand that feeling. I bring my hooks in, and I'm trying to see what Ben's defense is going to be. I really expect the monster to come out anytime and he's trying to spin into me as hard as he can but I shove his arm by and it takes back. A little hip pressure goes a long way. I'm making sure that I keep my hips engaged and I'm pushing them into Ben's spine. This is making it really difficult for him to escape and he's trying to go out the back so I let go and instead to go back to the wrestling position. Now watch, as he stands up I keep his elbow pinned to his side. As I do this I can spin around him then drag him back down to the mat because he's missing a post so I go towards the side that he doesn't have the post. Post. Naturally, after being wrestled, Ben grabs the head, gets another quack, and we move on. I'm not going to let him grab my head for too long, however. I like to wrestle with him so he comes back up into the turtle. Once he's in the turtle, I'm just going to control him towards the end of the round. I go for an underhook under the shoulder. I'm whipping him around. I even hit him with a nice quick chop, and then I go for another chop as the round ends. That brings us to the end of the video. If you appreciate the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, it appears Ben is pretty affectionate. Who would have thought?